How many roads must the man walk down for you call in a man? How many seas must the white dove sail for she sleeps in the sand? Yes, and how many times must the cannonballs fly? is blowing in the wind the answer is blowing in the wind is it now exist before it is vanished to the sea is and how many years can some people exist before they're allowed to be free is and how many times can a man turn his head and pretend that he just doesn't see well, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Yes, and how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky? Yes, and how many years must one man have before he can hear people cry? Yes, and how many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Old School Review. I don't think the uh, the robot mic is working. Just like my wife, they don't believe you. Exactly. You know, people, they're the worst. I'm just kidding. Happy to be here and glad we have a live mic. 
the music portion of the evening tonight is uh, a collage of the music that was from the period of Michael's project. And when he and I started talking about partnering and doing an event together, combining uh, the, the bowling lane that the old school review is on with the book, Michael immediately said, I think that sounds good. So we have put together a, um, a medley of some of the music from that period by some of the artists. We won't do it all, but we would like to uh, have you sit back and uh, enjoy yourself and enjoy the universal language we call music. It's ironic in this time of polarity and discord and difficulty of talking about things that people love music and they love to come out for music and it's the greatest thing, it has no equal. Besides food and sex, what, what is there? Uh, the band you're going to hear is a conglomeration of some very talented people uh, that we've been working with on and off for years and some new people that we haven't, but we've put together a show for you about this music. Uh, so I'd like to bring the band up and get on with the music for you. So thank you for sticking around and enjoy what you're doing. This gentleman over here on the right you just heard is Drew Angus. He's with us tonight from Black Rock, Connecticut. And this is Stephanie Harrison, who's with us tonight from Black Rock, Connecticut. They'll be right in front of you. We'll play a few songs, and then I'll introduce you to the rest of the band. Okay, one of the uh, accomplishments of Albert Grossman before he met Michael Friedman uh, was that he owned a nightclub, it was actually a folk club in Chicago as a young man, and became entranced with folk music and folk artists. And in the process, he had a number of uh, discoveries that he had come play at his folk club. Uh, one was named Robert Zimmerman, who came from Hibbing, Minnesota. And you just heard Mr. Angus here mimicking and giving you the sensation of one guy with the guitar just doing the song. Um, but uh, soon thereafter, there were three people that, that surfaced in his nightclub in Chicago, one named Peter Yarrow, one named Paul Stuckey, and one named Mary Travers. So he put Peter, Paul, and Mary together, and then uh, at that point began thinking, hey, you know, this could go somewhere. And his, his desire and love of folk music led him to promote these people with a friend of his whose name was Ween, who ran the Newport Jazz Festival. And he convinced Ween to have a folk festival, which became a big smash. And in 1965, it catapulted the young singer-songwriter Bob Dylan to fame. So we're going to do uh, another Bob Dylan song that Peter, Paul, and Mary did, and we're going to do it like Peter, Paul, and Mary would have done it. It's called Don't Think Twice. <laughs> It ain't no use to sit and wonder why, dude. It don't matter anyhow. 
But it ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe If you don't know by now When your rooster crows at the break of dawn Look out your window and I'll be gone You're the reason I'm traveling on Don't think twice, it's alright Ain't no use in turning on your light, babe That light I never know Well, it ain't no use in turning on your light, babe I'm on the dark side of the road Still I wish there was something you would do or say To try to make me change my mind and stay We never did too much talking anyway So don't think twice, it's alright Walking down that long, lonesome road, babe When I'm bound, I can't tell But goodbye's too good to work out So I'll just say fare thee well I ain't saying you treated me unkind You could have done better But I don't mind You just sort of wasted my precious time Don't think twice, it's all right There ain't no use in calling out my name, gal Like you never did before it ain't no use in calling out my name, gal I can't hear you anymore I'm a-thinking and wondering all the way down the road Once loved a woman, a child I'm told Gave her my heart, but she wanted my soul Don't think twice, it's all right Dylan made himself very rich and famous off of his writing. He was a very, very prolific writer, frequently recognized more for his writing than his singing or guitar playing. However, record companies jumped to try and find access to his material and created a superstar status for Dylan, even though he wasn't the world's best singer or guitar player. He was iconic, and his messaging was... That's okay, that's fine with us. So we're going to stay with him and uh, do another song. Upon a time you dressed so fine You threw the bombs of diamond and prime Didn't you? People call, said beware doll You're bound to fall You brought the thought they were all a Kidding you
it's school all right, Miss Lonely, but you gotta know you gotta get juice in it. Nobody's ever taught you how to live on the street, and now you're gonna have to get used to it. You said you'd never compromise with the list he tram, but now you realize he's not certain any. To the vacuum of his eyes and say, You wanna make, make a deal? How does it feel? How does it feel to be on your own with no direction home? They complete. the frowns, the jugglers, the clowns, and they did tricks for you. You never understood that it ain't no good. You should let other people get your kicks for you. You used to ride on the chrome horse with a diplomat who carried on his shoulder a Siamese cat. Ain't it hard when you discover, discover that he wasn't really where it's at After he took you from everything He could steal steeple all the pretty people they're all drinking thinking that they got it made exchanging all precious gifts but you better take your diamond ring you better part it babe he used to be so amused napoleon and rags in the language that he used You ain't got nothing, you got nothing to lose. You're invisible now. You got no secrets to conceal. Mr. Tambourine Man, the bird's version of one of the great Bob Dylan songs. I wasn't born yet, so.
singer career has also been occupied very nicely by Chris Christopherson. I'm, I'm sure most of you are familiar with him, but he wrote many, many great songs, only a few of which were hit records for him, but a prolific writer of consequence and an incredible Renaissance man. I would describe him as sort of a Michael Friedman wannabe. He sort of, you know, he could, he was good at a lot of different things. He was a Rhodes Scholar. He jumped out of airplanes. He was courageous. He was Machiavellian. He was uh, poetic. He was gorgeous. You know, there was a lot that Chris Christopherson brought to the table. Um, so we're going to do one of Chris's songs uh, for you right now that uh, Janis Joplin, who uh, you've seen, was an integral part of Albert Grossman's uh, situation, and uh, a uh, blues belter mama from Port Arthur, Texas, who revolutionized the role of women in the rock world. Prior to her, ain't nobody had done that. She was like the Billie Holiday of her day for jazz. Uh, so she was a, a, a real pave maker for, pave the way maker for women in the music world um, in general. So we want to celebrate her and do that song that uh, Chris wrote uh, with her in mind. It's called Me and, Me and Bobby McGee. Bus in Flatney, Baton Rouge, waiting for a train. Feeling near as faded as my jeans. Bobby thumbed a diesel down just before it rained. Drove us all the way to New Orleans. Well, I pulled my heart from my dirty red band. Good enough. 
No Janis Joplin tribute would, would be the same if we didn't do the song, so we're going to do it for you. And it pretty much uh, exemplifies her message and the uh, passion and dramatic uh, terror that she was as the greatest white blues belter of the rock era, uh, which, as I said, she paved the way. So we'll let the song uh, speak for itself.
Thank you. Thank you. How about that, Stephanie Harrison? Come on now. Thank you. So before I in introduce the band, I'd like to play a song by the band. No, I want to introduce the band first. On the keyboards, all the way on the right, the end of the stage, a gentleman named Cyrus Madden from Black Rock, Connecticut, <laughs> who's here to uh, be with us tonight. And uh, he is a compatriot of Drew's, and they play together all over the place. Tour here and there, so if you get a chance to hear Deep Banana Blackout or Drew Angus's band, these are the guys. They also are doing other things as well. Um, on the bass tonight is uh, a celebrity artist in his own right. This is Mr. Stu Woods, who is from Norwalk, Connecticut. Stu. <laughs> Amongst his many credits, toured and uh, recorded with both Todd Rundgren and Bob Dylan. And he is uh, gracing us with his artistry here tonight, Stu Woods. And next to him, is a maestro of the drums himself, Mr. Chris Parker. Chris has a discography larger than a Chinese uh, phone book, uh, but importantly, he did tour with Bob Dylan and also recorded and uh, for some time and uh, also had a relationship and recorded, I believe, with uh, Todd Rundgren, uh, not to mention uh, Robert Palmer and uh, Phoebe Snow and uh, Stuff and uh, Eric Gale and uh, Steve Gadd. Steve Gadd doesn't let too many other drummers in the world play on the same gig. Uh, and so I think that's probably the highest accolade known in the drumming world. Chris Parker. Also an artist, does wonderful sketches and tours around with his sketch work. You can check him out online and uh, give him a little business. He wouldn't turn it down. Chris Parker. And my fearless compatriot here of 18 years on the Old School Review is Mr. Frank Barisi on guitar. Frank Barisi. He's the hardest working man in show business. When he got on the band, he, he introduced him, said, um, you know, I like to play guitar, but you know, I'm a worker bee. I like to do the work. And so he, he writes charts out and he's very diligent and fantastic bandmate, Frank Parisi. And you will hear later on in the evening what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna tell you a spoiler secret. Uh, so we'd like to start with a band, uh, a couple of band tunes and begin with uh, Dixie and by any chance, we, we were trying to find a harmonica player to, you know, to get into the act here. Does, does anybody in the audience play harmonica? Huh? Do you have a harmonica with you? Come on up, man. Take your time. Honestly, I'm scared to death of harmonica players. They usually are these egomaniacal. What? Oh, okay. Wait your turn. We got somebody here. I don't know. What, what's, what's your name? Uh, Sean Kennedy. This is Sean Kennedy. From Trumbull. From Trumbull. Okay. Sean, we're going to play Dixie, the night they drove old Dixie down here. Can you do something there? Okay. That, yeah, I got it. Yeah. All right. Well said, I guess. There's no business like show business. <laughs> no business I know. You should see him after a glass of wine. Talent. This is the secret to show business. You gotta have talent. And we 
got talent. Okay. Next. Virgil Kane is the name that served on the Denver train. The stone man's cavalry came, tore up the tracks again. In the winter of 65, we were hungry, just barely alive. By May the 10th, Richmond, it fell. It's the time I remember oh so well. The night they drove old Dixie down, and the bells were ringing.
many of you were big fans of the band? Very popular band. Very popular. So we'll do another band song. Band song.
Thank you very much. That's Sean Kennedy. Wow. Thank you very much. I'll give you my address. Just send me the check later. started as rhythm and blues players, you know, these guys. It's, that was their love, as American rhythm and blues. And uh, put together this band that went on tour with Dylan. It was his band. And then they went out on their own. But their heart and soul was in the beautiful legacy of America's rhythm and blues. We invented that stuff. We invented jazz. We invented ragtime. We invented swing. We have a lot to be proud of in, as Americans about our music. So here's uh, Cyrus Magnon on the, it's not a Honer D6 clavinet, but it sounds like one, I guess. So. You know where I want to go Straight down the Mississippi River To the Gulf of Mexico To Lake Charles, Louisiana Little Bessie girl that I once knew She told me just to come on by If there's anything she could do Up on Cripple Creek She sends me if I spring a leak She means me
freezing cold And it's living off the road But it's getting pretty old So I guess I'll call a big mama Tell her I'll be rolling in But you know deep down I'm kind of dirty to go see my Thank you very much. Here's one of the best songs Chris Christopherson ever wrote, which has been covered many, many times. Uh, Stephanie's going to sing it for you. You probably remember it most from Gladys Knight and Sammy Smith in the country vein, but uh, called Help Me Make It Through the Night. not teary-eyed on this one, go to the doctor. Get checked. Take the ribbon from my Shake it loose and let it fall Laying soft against my skin Like the shadows on the wall Come and lay down by my side Till the earth Thank you. All right, Stephanie Harrison. Thank you, thank you. Now, Chris Christoph.
think that he was kind of a sex object as well as talented and wonderful. And he attracted the uh, Delta Queen, who uh, Leon Russell wrote a song about called Delta Lady. It was written about Rita Coolidge. They actually, Chris and Rita were married at a certain point. And uh, she is a lovely lady, a good friend of Michael's. And uh, we're going to do the song Delta Lady in Rita Coolidge's honor because it's Chris's song. Chris's song. Thank you very much. There's only one Durangus. Chris Parker on the drums. And this guy is Sean Kennedy. We're not going to let him go. How are you all doing out there tonight? Everybody? Was it a great discussion with Michael? Was it interesting? And he's really got something special, yes? How many people bought a book? All right. Exposed. Nice. So one of the great ballads that uh, 
Chris wrote that Rita recorded uh, is called We're All Alone. So Stephanie is going to deliver that for you right now. <laughs> the rain begins and it may never end so cry no more on the shore a tree will take us out to sea The story is told. Thank you so much. Thank you. I uh, stand corrected. I uh, spoke incorrectly about the author of that song. It's actually Leon Russell who wrote the song. Delta Woman or Delta Lady. 
So there you go. Thank you. Dick Wingate. This is a democracy, you know. So I guess the Todd Rundgren uh, moment is coming. We're going to uh, go back to actually a song that Michael Friedman was involved in the production of. Uh, he is credited as a co-producer of actually what I believe to have been Todd Rundgren's biggest record called Hello, It's Me, which is the, uh, I think it's the uh, coming out theme song, I guess, or something. But uh, it's Hello, It's Me. for a long, long time Maybe I think about it much things wrong There's something here that doesn't last too long Maybe I shouldn't think of you as mine Just don't care Sometimes I can't help seeing all the way So it's time for the Paul Butterfield and uh, Blues 
Rose Band and uh, the electric flag, and we're going to do something. Uh, we have our friend John Tavernese here who's going to give you a saxophone lesson. Really? I hope so. And uh, you've been a wonderful audience. We're going to supposed to be done at 10, so we're going to uh, close out the evening with Killing Floor. We do have a surprise for you, so don't leave quickly. Okay, I'll only say that much. Full disclosure. Killing floor.
Thank you, Westport Public Library. God bless America.